Hi, I'm Kat Persimone. And I'm Anjana Morali. And this is MyScope, a creative exploration of imposter syndrome at PitMed. Imposter syndrome, abbreviated IS throughout this presentation, is feeling doubt in one's own ability. And this feeling is persistently stressful for people at every stage of medical education, from students to faculty. This feeling has been linked to psychological distress and burnout, but it is not routinely addressed within medical curricula. So MyScope was developed to help medical students externally expose their internal thoughts and feelings about imposter syndrome. So MyScope specifically was exploring medical students' experiences, but also helping make explicit the ubiquity of imposter syndrome. So what exactly did we do? In the fall of 2019, we independently interviewed 20 PIP Med students and prompted them to reflect on their feelings of imposter syndrome. During the interview process, we took candid photographs of the interviewees to explore the role of art therapy in fighting imposter syndrome. So after a thematic analysis of the students' responses, we found that every single student had at some point felt feelings of imposter syndrome. 75% of them specifically recognized that their imposter syndrome changed throughout medical school, and 75% of them were able to identify specific triggers of their imposter syndrome feelings. So some of the most common ones were comparing themselves to their peers, and some of them as a result of that comparison led to feelings of undervaluing themselves, and also feeling that they were very different and therefore on unstable footing because they identify with a different background than many of their peers. In addition, a handful of students felt that they had such high future expectations for themselves that they were fearful they weren't going to reach that bar. Thematic analysis also found that IS manifests itself as self-depreciation amongst medical students. The majority of students felt incapable and others felt like a fraud, felt undeserving of their current position, and feared that they would let down future patients. In addition to self-depreciation, imposter syndrome had an impact on students' faith in their own abilities. So all of the students were able to acknowledge that they admire empathy as a good trait in physicians, but when we asked them to identify good traits in themselves as future physicians, 60% of them struggled to say something nice about themselves. With further prompting from me and Anjana, 95% of them were able to identify that they do in fact have personal strengths regarding to making emotional connections and being a physician. So how do students respond to their feelings of IS? It was striking that women disproportionately feel cynical that their feelings of IS might not get better in the future. But at the same point, women were also the ones that had coping strategies that significantly reduced their feelings of IS. Some of the more common coping strategies used amongst pit med students were normalizing feelings of IS, recognizing that IS is irrational, and reflecting on their own personal strengths to combat feelings of IS. So, in conclusion, nearly every student that participated in MyScope identified feelings consistent with IS, which corroborates prior data substantiating the prevalence of IS in medical school education. On a more positive note, the art therapy and open dialogue that MyScope facilitated seemed to serve as a beneficial outlet for participants, which suggests that IS-related feelings demand a creative and immediate solution. Some suggestions we have for implementation in medical schools include funding art projects that normalize and destigmatize IS and providing a platform for students to speak openly about their experiences regarding IS and mental health issues.